What's going on guys? So today we're going to be talking about this, the Mr. Steel earbud. This is gonna be my full review where I go over just kind of what this thing is, what it does for you as an FPV pilot and how much does this cost? So what this is, is this allows you to hear the audio from your quad. For the purpose of this video, audio is the sound your quad makes, you know, as it's in flight. So like the, basically just the sound of the motors. And that's important because you get a lot of, I guess, cues from your audio. And by cues, I mean, it helps you know, like maybe, like if you've got like um, a bent prop or maybe a motor is damaged, you can hear a lot from that. Well, this allows you to get um, the audio directly from your quad. Before I go any further, let's, I wanna discuss a little bit of quad, or I guess what I call quad theory. So, audio or sound, as you know, is a, um, you know, it's a sound wave, right? However, the thing that we use to fly our quads and the thing that we use to see what our quad sees, these both use radio waves. So what that means is that, okay, in, I guess, I'm not sure what it's, whether it's physics or whatever, but radio waves travel faster than sound waves. Let me explain to you what this, um, I guess, what this means in a diagram. Okay, so let's say that, you know, this little stick figure is you, and this X, this is gonna be the quad. So this area right here, let's just call this, you know, 50 feet. That's the distance between you and the quad. You know, you're flying around. I'd say at about 50 feet or so, you can hear very easily um, what your quad is doing as you're flying it. So like when you give, say like when you give it throttle or do a massive punch out, you'll immediately hear it because the quad is close to you. However, as the quad moves further and further away, it takes longer for the audio to travel back to you. So what this means is that you have this delay. So in your head, you start to think, oh no, wait, is, is there a problem with my quad? Is the battery sagging? It, this takes away from the, I guess, from your, your concentration of flight and um, that can lead you to maybe like, you know, maybe not hit a gap accurately or you're paying more attention to the audio to what you, maybe like what you're seeing and you end up crashing. It just creates a lot of just badness, but there's a fix for that. So now let's really get into talking about this guy. So, okay, so first of all, some video transmitters like this one, I forget the name of this guy off the top of my head, but it it has a microphone. So what that means is that the video that's sent from this video transmitter to your goggles is not only capable of carrying a video signal, but also carrying an, a video and an audio system together. So if your goggles, in my case, the Sky Zones, um, they have an ear out right here, which means you can plug in something like the Mr. Steel earbud and you can hear what your quad is hearing in real time. So that audio delay I was talking about, it, you know, it no longer exists with with a setup like this, with like a microphone with a microphone on the quad sending the audio signal over, you know, the radio wave to this. So now let's talk about the Mr. Steel earbud, what makes this thing so awesome now that I've kind of explained my theory on, you know, quad audio. What sets this apart from just this, you know, the cheapo set of earbuds that you have lying around your house? Well, this is obviously a lot shorter than this, but also notice how these have, you have a left and a right for, you know, your left and right ears. This takes two of these and come, basically imagine taking these two wires 
soldering them together into one little earbud. So it's kind of like having two earbuds built in one. So you hear both the left and the right of your audio signal, but also the speaker inside of here was handpicked by Mr. Steele because it's a really good speaker um, for its size. And overall, it just has an overall package. It's a very, very, very nice product. And it's also really cheap. This thing was only like, like six or seven dollars on Get FPV. That's where I bought it. By the time you throw in shipping, it's about ten bucks. So if your quad has either like a VTX that has a microphone or a uh, or like a run cam, a lot of run cam cameras they have a mic built in. Um, you can pretty much set up audio. What I do on mine, so I fly with an Immersion RC Tramp and it does not have a, a, a microphone built into it, but it has an audio out. So I just splice that wire to the Runcam Sparrow that has a mic in it. And so yeah, that's how I get audio. And, it's, and this thing is also, it's really clean. The fit and finish of it is really great. So you literally, you just plug it in And it's long enough that you can either, you know, put it in like this, or what I do, so I'll actually wrap it around my ear and put it in like that. So, yeah, it's a really, really great product. Works really well. I used to use one of these, but in order to use this, you could just, you know, plug it in, put it on over your head, and just, give me a second. See, look, the thing about this is that, like, you see how you got all this? It's just, it's really messy, and then you have to, like, you know, wrap one end around you like this, then plug it in, then put the goggles on, and it's just, this thing, it, it's just a mess. And one benefit ha about having, you know, only one of these, in, in in your ear, you know, in this ear, rather than having two, is that your other ear, you can still get audio alerts from your transmitter. And you can still sort of hear what's in the environment, what's around you. So actually, that's a good segue, because I want to talk about the advantages of using something like this over, you know, something like this. So as I mentioned before, number one, just the, just the clean form factor of it, it's really, really nice. Also, since it's only in one ear, you know, you have your other ear open to kind of still hear what's going on around you. But I think the biggest advantage of this, again, is that there is no delay between you doing something on your quad or like you, you know, doing something on the controls. You will hear that immediately through this. And that does two things. One, it creates a much more immersive experience and two, it allows you to focus more on your flying because any problem you might have with the quad, you will hear it immediately through this. So it adds an extra layer of confidence as you're flying around. So in conclusion, the Mr. Steel earbud, this is a really, really nice product. It's pretty cheap, so it's not gonna break the bank if you want to go out and buy, if you, know, if you wanna try this for yourself. Um, and honestly, I think this is the best earbud out there on the market. I'm sure people will disagree with that statement. That's fine. You're a human being. You, you can have your own opinion, okay? Like, I'm not here to tell you what to do or anything like that. Steele himself has been flying with um, you know, audio on his quad for many, many years. He was a major, I guess, um, influencer of this design. It was made by a pro pilot. It's uh, made by Ethics, which has TBS as its backbone, so it's made by a reputable, a very reputable company, and it's a really, ch and it's really cheap. It's like seven bucks, maybe three bucks for shipping, so it's like ten dollars just to try something new that could really, really benefit your flying. I know it's helped me a lot, and I'm going to continue to use this product. So that's gonna do it for this uh, review. Thanks for watching. If you like this video. Um, Please like and subscribe, leave a comment below if you want, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye!